worship you. Good evening, St. Columbus family. We welcome you to today's midweek evening service. We pray that um, you are safe, and uh, our prayer is that even as we are together uh, during this time, uh, the Lord will minister to us by His Spirit. Patricia, do you have any welcoming remarks? Definitely. Good evening, everyone out there. Uh, we just want to greet you all in the loving name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We hope you are well. We are fine. We just hope that we'll be able to enjoy together this uh, evening service. And we encourage you to enjoy to be in the presence of the Lord as we continue with the service. Amen and amen. amen. Uh, beloved in the Lord, let's turn to uh, our court worship for this uh, evening's uh, service. Our call to worship is coming from the book of Hebrews, chapter 11. We'll read from verses 1 to verses 6. Now, at today's evening, we will be reflecting on um, the subject of faith, uh, especially looking at the times that we are living in. These are not times to have our faith wax cold. These are the times to fan our, our faith into flames for the glory of God. Uh, let's listen to what Hebrews 11 verses 1 to 6 uh, is saying to us. Listen to God's word to you. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. This is what the ancients were commended for. By faith we understand that the universe was formed at God's command so that what is seen was not made out of what was visible. By faith, Abel brought God a better offering than Cain did. By faith, he was commended as righteous when God spoke well of his offerings. And by faith, Abel still speaks even though he is dead. By faith, Enoch was taken from this life so that he did not experience death. He could not be found because God had taken him away. For before he was taken, he was commended as one who pleased God. And without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen and amen. amen. Uh, let's turn, turn to God in prayer as we begin our service. Let's pray together. Our dear Heavenly Father, King of Glory, we thank you, Almighty God, for this evening. We pray that God, even as we begin our prayers, we pray the Lord, may you be the one to begin these prayers um, uh, with us, Lord. We pray, Almighty God, that may you commune with us, Lord. May you meet each one of us at our point of need. We pray, O oh Lord, that even as we uh, speak your word from where we are, we pray that may your spirit as well reach out to the your children out there who are listening and paying attention even to this uh, online service. It's our prayer that God, you alone, will be glorified even in this service. So, for we pray all these things in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen and, amen and amen. Glory be to God. Uh, Patricia, what is our opening hymn uh, this evening? Uh, we are singing from the Mission Praise to Zero One, Guide Me, O Thou Great Jehovah. So I encourage you to sing along. Glory be to God. Stay tuned. Our opening hymn this evening is hymn number 201 from the Mission Praise. Let's sing together. Guide me, O Thou great Jehovah, pilgrim through this barren land. I am weak, but Thou art mighty. Hold me with Thy powerful hand. Bread of heaven, bread of heaven, feed me now and evermore. Bread of heaven, bread of heaven, feed me now and evermore. Open now the crystal fountain, where's the healing stream of 
Patricia. Oh, we thank God. That's a very good hymn. Very encouraging. Especially when we are in our low moments. Mm. Uh, we need God's guidance. Mm. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise Amen. the Lord. Like uh, I said earlier on, today's service is tailored on having faith in God. Mm. And even as the Lord leads us, we need to trust Him enough mm. that He will guide us and Amen. that He will lead us. Uh, to better things. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Mm. Amen. Mm. So at this point, we will now proceed to uh, uh, listen to God's word um, uh, for us this evening. Uh, stay tuned. Beloved in the Lord, we've come to that time when we look at the word of God and hear what the spirit of God is saying to the church today. Our scripture reading is coming from uh, the book of Hebrews. And uh, we are going to read from uh, Hebrews chapter 10, and we'll be reading from verses um, 37 up to verses 39. I listen to God's word to you. The word of the Lord reads, For yet a little while, and he who is coming will come and will not tarry. Now the just shall live by faith, but if anyone draws back, my soul has no pleasure in him. But we are not of those who draw back to perdition, but of those who believe to the saving of the soul. And this is a word of the Lord. Let us pray together, friends. Our dear Heavenly Father, King of glory, we thank you, Almighty God, for today. We pray, Lord, that even as we gaze into your word, may you be the one to speak to us, Lord. We pray that, God, may you open our eyes, O oh Lord, our spiritual eyes, that we may see that which you are showing us, and open our spiritual ears, that we may hear that which you are saying to us. We pray, God Almighty, may you, Lord, speak to us, for your servants are ready to listen. We pray of all these things in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. Beloved in the Lord, the message for today is titled living by faith living by faith the scripture beloved in the lord that um, we've just read it is an encouragement for patient endurance for god's people it is encouraging the saints it's encouraging the believers to endure patiently especially even as we await the pending coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That's why verses 37 tells of us that for yet a little while and he who is coming will come and will not tarry. And so we know that as God's children, we are all waiting for the uh, coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But then even as we wait for the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, there's a lot happening. Others are growing tired. Others are becoming weary. Others are becoming faith -wrecked. Others uh, are just losing the way. But beloved in the Lord, the word for today is coming as an encouragement to the saints today that um, uh, we should uh, 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 endure uh, patiently 
even as we worried for the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, I found the old manuscript and the Vulgate very interesting in the way um, uh, it speaks of uh, this verse. Uh, it reads, my just man shall live by faith. It says, my just man. Now, um, uh, there's something personal uh, in, the, in, the, in the earlier uh, older manuscript, manuscripts and the Vulgate, um, uh, which is being raised here. There's a personal address uh, where God is addressing his child, and that's why the scriptures say, the earlier scriptures say, uh, my just man shall live by faith. It does not just say the just shall live by faith. It says my just man. And so God um, uh, is uh, uh, looking at us, beloved in the Lord, not only collectively as a church, but God is looking at us as individual and how we are fearing in terms of our walk uh, with him. And so what Christ is expecting of us, what God expects of us, of every brother and every sister, is that you, my brother and my sister, God expects of us to live uh, by faith. And uh, uh, I like what uh, God further says uh, uh, in this scripture. He, he, it pushes a bit further. The Bible says, if anyone draws back, my soul has no pleasure in him. Uh, uh, clearly, beloved in the Lord, the Lord is speaking to us. And in a way, it is a warning, beloved in the Lord, against uh, uh, falling off. Because God clearly and categorically states it that my soul will not have any pleasure in him who draws back. And so in these times we are living in, these are not times, friends, to play church. These are times to seek the face of God. These are times to take our relationship with God far much more seriously. I like what the, the scripture says in Matthew chapter 24 and verses 12 to verses 14. The word of the Lord reads, And because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. Some versions say the love of many will wax cold. But he who endures to the end shall be saved. And the gospel of the kingdom will be preached to all the world as a witness to all the nations. And then the end uh, will come. And so we are seeing even from this uh, 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 particular uh, 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 scripture uh, from Matthew, we are seeing a warning that um, um, we should not allow our faith, beloved, in the Lord to wax cold in any way. We should not be found amongst those that shrink back, uh, but we must be found amongst those that are progressing in their walk with God. And that's why Jude chapter, uh, Jude 20 uh, says, uh, build yourself up in the most holy faith. God expects of us to be waking on our faith and uh, he expects of us to fan our faith into flames beloved in the lord may we not be found among amongst those that are shrinking back the times we are living in beloved in the lord like right now um, um we do not we're not going to our designated places of worship we're not uh, 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 um, uh, getting involved in uh, the breaking of bread and uh, the you know uh, celebrating uh, holy communion we are not getting involved in uh, the work of the lord per se uh, in a normal sense beloved in the lord but the word for today beloved in the lord is coming to remind us that we should not become complacent we should not become comfortable and feel well it's time to take a break from the things of God. It's time to take a break from church now. Uh, I have time to myself. This is not a time for such. If, if at all you ever think like that, then you better relook at your work and your relationship with God. Uh, these are the times, if anything, to draw nigh to God. Um, uh, and, and, and if anything, beloved in the Lord, we need to utilize this time out that uh, we all have. We are not as busy as um, we normally are, uh, we have more uh, uh, time per se uh, uh, on our, uh, 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 our side. And so as such, my encouragement to each one of us, friends, is that let us utilize this time even to draw nigh and closer 
uh, even unto, unto God. My encouragement to each one, friends, is that hold on to your faith. May you hold on to your faith, O child uh, uh, of God. Hold on to the faith that you profess. Your faith that, that declares that Jesus Christ is the son of the living God who came into the world, who died for us on the cross as our ransom or, or um, um, uh, in our place, arose uh, again, ascended into heaven, and he is coming back soon and very soon according to the scripture that we have read. And therefore, I encourage each one of us, beloved in the Lord, may we hold on to this declaration. May we hold on to this faith that we profess. I encourage each one of us, beloved, in the Lord as I submit to all of us that may we hold on to our faith that declares that God can heal any disease, that there is nothing too difficult for the Lord. Even the times we are passing through, we know that the Lord is with us and the Lord is going to protect us, beloved, in the Lord. And so I encourage each one of us, this is not time to lose uh, uh, our faith. This is not time to even a play change uh, like the foolish uh, 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 five uh, vagans who took it for granted thinking that time, they had all the time in the world but lo and behold they were caught napping for an expected at an expected time the bride came through and so my encouragement to us as children of God friends is that may we uh, focus on our faith and grow our faith for the glory of God hold on to your faith O child of God, hold on to your faith uh, with realization that your relationship with Christ is valued by God. It is valued by God because it supersedes all the other relationships that you have in your life. It supersedes everything, all the positions that you have. Your relationship with God is of great value. As such, treat it that way. Even though we might be on lockdown in inverted commas, um, my encouragement to us is that may we not forget about this relationship. May we nature it to the glory of God. May you hold on to, the, to your faith, O child of God, with realization that God remains faithful in our lives. He is a faithful God. Seasons come and go, but God's faithfulness, beloved in the Lord, remains steadfast. God, beloved in the Lord, remains faithful and he will always meet us at our point of need. He is the master of the rain. He is the master of the wind. He is the master of the storm. And so whatever storm may be before us, beloved in the Lord, may we anchor our faith into Christ, who's the rock of our salvation. And as long as our anchor is held in Christ, beloved in the Lord, no storm will move us because Christ, because Christ is the rock that is higher than anything else. Else. He is the, the ultimate one, beloved in the Lord. And so as such, beloved in the Lord, may we lean on the faithfulness of Christ in our lives. Let our faith, beloved in the Lord, be anchored in Christ Jesus. Even in the face of the corona uh, epidemic, may we anchor our faith in Christ. May we seek Christ, beloved in the Lord. May we pray, find time to pray. Seek the face of God. Read the scripture and understand the mind of God, what is the perfect will of God for our lives. May we build ourselves up, beloved, in the Lord, even in the faith, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. These times we are living in, beloved, in the Lord, they are unprecedented. But I like what the scripture says from John chapter 4 and verses 21 to verses 24. The word of the Lord says, Jesus says to the woman, this is a Samaritan woman. I say to her, woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will neither worship on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. Worship the Father. You worship what you do not know. We know what we worship. For salvation is for the Jews. But the hour is coming and now is when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship him. 
God is spirit and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Now, what I like about this scripture, beloved, in the Lord is Christ's prophecy when he says a time is coming when you will not worship on the mountain nor in Jerusalem. Um, um, and, and, and such are the times, beloved, in, in the Lord that we are living in. Because what Christ is saying is that you will not go to worship in designated places, but what God is seeking are those who will worship him in truth and in spirit. And right now, we are not going uh, uh, as, 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 as in the norm to our designated places of worship to worship God from there uh, because of the epidemic situation we have found ourselves in. But even when such has happened, beloved in the Lord, what God is seeking from us are people who are going to worship him in truth and in spirit. And so it doesn't matter where you might be. You might be at home, but you can still worship your heavenly father in truth and in spirit. You may be driving your car. You may be cleaning uh, the plates. You may be doing something, but still what God is expecting of us, he's looking for those that are going to worship him in truth and in spirit and therefore beloved in the Lord my encouragement to all of us is may we hold on to our faith even in these times that we are living in beloved in the Lord may I speak to somebody uh, this this evening may I speak to somebody have you lost your edge have you lost your faith are you feeling that your, your, your faith has been shaken by the circumstances in your life? My prayer for you, O child of God, is that may the Lord revive you. I just want to say these words to somebody out there who is weary of heart, tired of strength, low in spirit, and low in faith. Do not lose heart, O child of God, for the Lord is the king of hosts. The Lord Jesus Christ watches over you, for he is Emmanuel, God with us. He will never leave us nor forsake us, for he has promised in his word that, lo and behold, I will be with you to the end of the age. Beloved in the Lord, may I give this as an encouragement that whatsoever you might be going through, look to the cross. Look to the cross. The enemy is a liar. Look to the cross. Beat your flesh. Allow it to submit to the Lordship of Christ. Let Christ's will reign upon your life. The Lord is not far from us, Lord, beloved in the Lord. The Lord is near us. Friends, even as we come to a close, even as we come to a close, do you believe in the old time religion that faith in Christ can move mountains? Beloved in the Lord, I implore and encourage each and every one of us May we build ourselves up in the Lord. These are not times to slumber. These are not times to let our faith to wax cold. These are days of Elijah. These are days that we ought to seek the face of the Lord. And surely, beloved in the Lord, God is gracious. He says in the word, seek and you shall find. Knock and the door will be opened. Ask and it shall be given. Beloved in the Lord. May we hold on to our faith and fan it into flames for the glory of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. May God be praised and may God be glorified because of his word that comes to edify us, to teach us, to instruct us, and to show us the way of the Lord. To God and God alone be our glory, honor, and praise through Christ Jesus our Lord and Savior and all the saints of Christ said, Amen and Amen. Glory be unto God, friends. Wow, wow, wow. We thank God for that powerful sermon, Reverend. Mm -hmm. We are so grateful to God Welcome. that he's able to use you in this manner. Amen. And indeed, we need to continue to believe in our God. Mm -hmm. He's a God who is always there for us. Let's hold on to the cross of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Reverend. God bless you. Most welcome, most welcome. Uh, it's always a pleasure to... Uh, wait upon God and mm -hmm. bring God's word to God's people. Amen. Uh, we can only give God all the glory Amen. and all the praise. Thank glory you so much, God. Patricia. At this point, beloved in the Lord, as we proceed with the service, uh, we're now going to um, um, uh, 
get um, a special a song that Patricia has uh, prepared uh, even for this service. Uh, Patricia, what, is, what song are you sharing with us this evening? I'm singing a song in Chewa. It's a song that talks about the grace of God. Mm. That um, um, it's not because of our own strength that we've been able to reach this far, Amen. but it's only God himself. Amen. So sit back and, re and enjoy the song. Well, praise the Lord. Stay tuned. Even as we listen uh, from Patricia as she sings uh, a speech to the glory of God. Uh, praise the Lord. Amen. The sharing that I'll be able to give today, it's a song in Chewa. It talks about the grace of God that we've reached this far because of the grace of God. He is our Ebenezer. Wafi kambanda kuchadzu wala tuluka na piola tumusemu chisomu cha mnungu. Wafi kambanda kuchadzu wala tuluka Na piola tumosemu chisomo cha mungu Haleluya si chifu kwa chang Haleluya kuzi piola tuzo Se haleluya nda piola tumosemu chisomo cha mungu Muti mawanga ya nika Wachoka tukutari Wapiola tumusemu Chisomo cha mnungu Muti mawanga ya nika Wachoka tukutari Wapiola tumusemu Chisomo cha mnungu Haleluya si chifu kwa chang Haleluya kuzi piola tuzo Se haleluya nda piola tumosemu Chisomo cha mnungu Haleluya si chifu kwa chang Haleluya kuzi piola tuzo Se haleluya nda piola tumosemu Chisomo cha mlungu Thank you, hope you enjoyed Wow, that was a lovely song, Patricia We give God all the glory Amen and amen It's wow. by his grace It's by his grace for mm -hmm. sure Wow now, we thank God that um, uh, you've been able to uh, take time out there to be with us uh, during this uh, midweek evening service. It's our prayer that you have been blessed and that uh, you will remain strong in the Lord and in the power of his mighty. Patricia, do you have any last words? Uh, yes, I just want to encourage each and every one of you, continue remaining strong in the Lord. Mm. Uh, don't give the devil any chance to backslide. Mm. Just hold on to Christ. Those are the words that I encourage you. But much more, continue keeping safe. No mm. matter how bold you are, stay at home. It's for our own good. We want to see you safe. Amen and amen. Uh, you couldn't have said it better, mm -hmm. Patricia. That was great. Uh, beloved in the Lord, even as we close the service, uh, let's just turn to God in prayer. Let us pray together. Our dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for the lovely time we've spent, Lord, in your presence. We pray, Father, that may the word we've heard this evening, may it grow in our lives. May you keep us strong in the faith of oh God. May you cause us to remain uh, in the gap, Lord, uh, to intercede for ourselves, our families, and on behalf of uh, the land of Zambia and the world at large. We pray that, God, may you meet us all at our point of need, especially in these times we are living in. I want to pray, Almighty God, that, Lord, may your grace abound towards our lives. And now, Jehovah God, as we in the service, we pray for your grace upon our lives. So we pray that may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the sweet love of God the Father, 
and the wonderful fellowship of the Holy Spirit may they forever abide with each and every one of us from now and forevermore. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. Thank you. All right, so have a pleasant uh, remainder of the week and may the good Lord be with you. Bye-bye. You are here Moving in our midst I worship you I worship you You are here Working in this place I worship you I worship you, you are here.